this is the story of my biggest buck to date. Howdy, howdy. Welcome to the channel. I'm Cody. And I wanted to share a story today. And the reason that I'm doing this format is because last year I went and participated in Iowa's gun season. So first time participating in gun season for a long time, first time being part of a hunting camp for a long time, and that was exciting. But there was uh, a lot of moving pieces and uh, a lot of deer drives, which there are pros and cons, and my opinion has uh, been shifted a little bit since participating in some uh, ones that were well executed, but self-filming there presented a challenge. So I wanted to use this format to fill in some gaps about this buck right here. So the story of my biggest buck today, this really just beautiful, just massive mainframe eight point buck that I got last December. So here's the story. I hope you enjoy it and it's a lot of fun to relive. Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Creation Outdoors, another video today doing something different. I am headed out uh, to go on a gun hunt. So this weekend is opening weekend of what is first shotgun season in Iowa. And I have a 350 Legend that I'm going to use. And it's the first gun hunt that I've been on for quite some time. But I have some distant relatives that invited me out to some of their property way on the other side of the state of Iowa about as far as I can get and still be in the state. So we're gonna do some driving. Got the coolers loaded up. Uh, hopefully that's not uh, a jinx, but nonetheless, should be fun, should be something different. So I'm gonna hit the road uh, and get there hopefully safely. And then tomorrow is opening day. Should be a lot of fun. Well, made it to our destination. Quite a drive, but really looking forward to uh, kind of an opening day deer camp sort of vibe because that's been something that uh, I haven't experienced in a while. And that camaraderie is certainly a part of hunting that, that I've really enjoyed and, and, and missed as of late. So going to head in, hopefully catch up with some people I haven't seen in a long, long time. Hear some big buck stories and high anticipation for tomorrow. So uh, hopefully things will be good. We'll try and get some sleep, but I'm pretty excited. So until then, it should be fun. Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> It is officially legal shooting light, and I am officially part of the Orange Army. Interesting access to this spot. <laughs> Up the side of a cliff, a couple fence crossings using pool ladders, and uh, here we are. Top of a ridge. Behind me I've got an old pasture, and I'm sitting right on the fence. And then on the other side of me is, is just timber, so interesting showing up in the dark and hunting in the dark really don't have a good idea for the landscape but we're just going to keep our head on the swivel because i have no idea where deer are going to come from or if i'll even see any but it's got a little bit wrong longer range than the bow so that's a good feeling no shots yet but i'm sure that'll pick up here soon we're gonna hunt for or sit for a couple hours and then i think the plan is to meet up with a group of people and do some drives, which isn't particularly what I normally would do, but uh, I guess when in Rome, <laughs> do what the Orange Army does. So we'll sit tight, be quiet, settle in, and hopefully we'll get some deer moving by.
terms of deer movement and shots, so maybe I'm not the only one that isn't really seeing much, but cold, crisp, just uh, not much for deer movement in my neck of the woods. So I'm imagining my ride is going to show up here pretty quick, um, and then we're going to be doing some deer drives. So as I'm three or four decades younger than the other folks in our group that I've met, um, it's been joked that I'm going to be the one running the hill, so that'll do me good, warm me up, um, but because I'm self-filming, I don't know how much I'll be able to capture, but we'll see what happens, uh, because I don't really know what to expect, so this is uh, a little bit out of the ordinary for what I've done in the past several years, so it'll be good regardless. We we're chatting last night, and uh, I guess most most of the deer that they've taken recently has been on the drives. So hopefully that uh, heats things up for us, both figuratively and literally. Got ice forming on the underside of my hat, which is kind of cool, but uh, sun's out. It's a nice morning. Just a couple more minutes of sitting here and then see if we can do some driving and move around some deer. First drive. I was elected to come all the way up to the top. Lots of rubs on the way up, but steep country. Did bump one buck heading up here that ran the opposite direction, so it's promising. Lots of rubs, got the wind in our face, so we're gonna slowly work our way, <clears throat> kind of side hilling it to this other group and see what happens. Whew. Gonna catch my breath though first. Fingers crossed. Okay, update on drive one. I saw two deer, way far off, no shot. And most of our other party didn't really see much, except for one, the other pusher. So the complaints have already started about how there's not any deer. But there is certainly a lack of shooting around too, so we'll see what happens. But for this drive, I'm now a poster at the top of this ridge. So um, the other folks are, are pushing towards me. They're side hilling it all the way, and I'm kind of at the top. So the field is just up behind me there, and it's just more ravine down below. So we'll see what happens. Supposedly this is pretty productive, typically. So we'll wait and, wait and see what ends up coming our way. That didn't take long. <laughs> So a doe and a fawn just came working their way above me. Could have shot him with my bow, but so we got a doe down and the fawn is heading back towards the pusher. So that's my doe tag field. So now we just need a nice big buck to head our way. Sweet, not bad. Okay, so the pusher is up here above me and I actually had <coughs> two bucks and a doe pass below me i didn't get a shot but the person below me got a shot so i saw the smaller buck skirt up here behind me so maybe he got the bigger buck which would be awesome uh, people were pretty discouraged after the first drive so hopefully this lifts some spirits along with some lunch but i'm gonna go peek over the hill see if he got a buck and then take care of my doe get it all tagged up and uh move on to the next drive so deer camp vibes so that's awesome. Really encouraged, really proud, happy, and blessed to uh, be able to put some meat in the freezer. Nice. Pretty big doe. So super blessed, super thankful. And uh, the other member of our party I went and checked, they got a doe too. So that's pretty awesome. Second drive, two does. Beautiful, healthy, large, so truly a blessing. So, this is the most satisfying sound ever.
All right. Let's get to it. So after sitting all morning, just seeing one deer way off in the morning, participating in two drives in the morning then, one really slow and one where I got that doe, uh, it was time for lunch. So a nice deer camp lunch with everybody gathering around in a pole barn heated by a wood stove and uh, spirits were a little bit low actually because of how few deer we had seen. But there was a couple good drives left and um, uh, again, I didn't know what I was getting involved in. I didn't know where uh, where the good drives were and where they weren't. Uh, I was just picking up the vibes from everybody else. So after we ate lunch, uh, we did another deer drive uh, and saw nothing, which is astonishing. So the tone and the mood was pretty low going into the last drive of the day. And I think you'll be able to glean that a little bit from the video. And I was ready to close out the video before the drive even happened. So uh, <laughs> that's why you never know, things can happen in a flash. Last drive of the day. I think this is number four. Last one totally unsuccessful. But uh, essentially we're kind of similar vicinity to where I got the doe earlier in today. Um, they're just working it the other way. So I'm standing in a pretty similar position. Um, deer came through here before, so just a matter of whether they come come back through. So it's a lot of walking in the hills. Not something I'm really used to, but different way of hunting, and we'll see. Um, again, people are saying that this is atypical, um, that the deer numbers are a little bit lower than what they have been previously. So. I don't have experience with that. Haven't seen too, too many deer today, um, but was fortunate to get that doe. But hopefully a nice big old Iowa buck comes through here tonight and then uh, more camaraderie after that. But nothing happens. Um, I think this will be probably the end of the video. Um, I'm not sure what tonight's gonna entail. I'm not sure what the plan is for tomorrow, whether they drive all these again or um, whether uh, there is just more sitting and, and camaraderie involved, but we'll take it as we go. I'm the guest, so whatever they say goes. But thanks for watching. If this is the end, and if not, uh, we'll come back at you with, with more uh, Iowa gun season excitement. the biggest buck I'd ever passed. And then here we are, I don't know, eight, ten minutes later and three bucks came through another solid eight point, a little scrub buck. And then the buck I shot, which seems to be a, a bigger eight point as far as I know. It's up here in the ravine, I can't see, but the old 350 legend did it for me. Um, I think I went right through the front shoulder, so it took a little bit to go down, but this has been a productive drive. So five different bucks and a, what looked like a doe fawn have been all within range of me. And I think another person on our group shot above me. So I don't know what he shot. I can't see maybe another doe or he's got a buck tag. So could have been a nice buck up there too. So, but we for sure got a buck down in Iowa. Just got a buck down in Iowa. Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm, I'm so grateful, honestly, to be invited and to participate in this. Um, looking forward to the camaraderie. It's not, it's not an Iowa giant, but like I said, I already passed up the biggest buck I ever passed up, and this one was bigger. So we're gonna wait for the pushers to get over here, and then we'll go. Then we'll, then we'll go look. Yes, so happy. So. Doe and a buck all in one day. That's the most deer I've ever shot in a day is two. <laughs> you never know.
something else might come through, but I don't have any more tags, so if a giant comes through, then I will be kicking myself, but... Oh, that's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I've always been a Debbie Downer about bushes, but these ones worked. Oh, they really worked today. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. It's bigger than I thought. So there he is, great, amazing mainframe eight, kind of an awesome little split here on the brow and bigger than I expected. Um, couldn't have asked for anything more and I think that you could tell that I was excited. Like I said, it's really fun to relive some of these moments and that's really the best part about filming your hunts is being able to relive that emotion and although I can lean on the memories it's fun to go back and watch your reaction too so amazing hunt super grateful that i was be able that i was able to be involved in that hunt and i'm actually invited back this year too so after we got the deer uh, all tagged up and off the hill and processed we had another night of camaraderie which was amazing it's fun to share success with other people in a hunting party and that's quite a bit different than what I experienced that year and this year too, just kind of uh, isolated public land bow hunting, uh, kind of out there um, going about your own your own way. And it's, it's really nice to share that camaraderie because a lot of hunting is about that camaraderie for me and other folks too. So this deer is a blessing. I'll remember it forever. The camaraderie is a blessing and I'm looking forward to making more memories this year. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me through this uh, little bit of a wonky format. I'm hoping that this year when I go back, I'll be able to capture the moments a little bit better. Uh, I've learned some things along the way. And so hopefully uh, we can bring some more excitement from Deer Camp 2023. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.